I might as well sit in the back because Devin is large. There he is. <laughs> What, whose decision was this to come so early? Oh. I was cool with 12. I think it was Devin's. It was Devin's. Oh well, onward. How far away is this place anyway? It's five hours. Five hours? Perfect. That's the perfect time for me to sleep. have arrived Choctaw Durant Let's check out this view And after a three hour nap and a shower, I am not ready to play poker. I am ready to go eat. Off site, Chipotle. Damon says it's 30 minutes away. I don't care. Did a little grocery shopping. Got to, you know, fight the power. Just bought Damon Maytard in for the night, and oh, yeah. I'll finally play some poker. What time is it, like 10 o'clock? 9.30? 9.30. That's early. Whoops, went into the wrong room. That's the tournament area. Over to the cash games. Now there's not a seat. Much better in here, much more lively. Quiet as the library in that tournament spot. 46, like that seat up for Jacob. There he is. Is that little balling out of control? <laughs> no. Five. Five. <laughs> One for the bad guys. All right, back up here in the hallway, trying to find the room because I'm a stupid idiot and uh, <laughs> I didn't uh, ever get the room number. Up here to get the vape pen because you can do that. On two lists, one, three, and two, five, so we'll probably play whatever one we go to first and then decide whether or not to move by what we think of the game. Uh, God, 30 tables going in there, it's pretty cool. And then the other side, right across the street, the tournament, Quite as a church mouse in there, but a lot of people in there playing poker as well. This is cool, man. This is, this is real cool. This is fun. Ain't nothing wrong with a little wine. Oh, we're heading down to play some cards. Got some chips. Alright, so in the poker game for about two hours and twelve minutes. It's just after midnight. So the first hand began with a classic Nick mistake. I am kinda tired. I had topped up for 100 and back up to a stack of 340 just previously, and the dealer gave me a black chip. And it looked really similar to the white chips uh, at first glance. 
And right when I got it, I thought, man, I'm gonna end up tossing this in as like a limp call to a straddle or something. Sure enough, not probably 10 minutes later, there's a button straddle. I'm under the gun with Ace-8. Uh, I try to get in cheap. Probably mistake the limp anyway, but whatever. Uh, I toss it in and he goes, 105, and the dealer says, 105. And I'm like, oh, and I grimace, like involuntarily grimace. Luckily to me, it folds all the way around to the button, the straddler who had been on tilt and started spewing. And I said to myself, if it gets to him and he shoves, or if he raises, you know, I, I'm not going anywhere. Sure enough, it gets to him. He shoves for like 400 bucks. I started the hand with 340. And against him, against, you know, the perceived range of him, I know I gotta make that call. Uh, I think about it for like four or five seconds. I toss in the call. The board runs out pretty scary. I don't exactly remember exactly what it was, but there was quite a few overcards. A queen, a 10, maybe a king. Uh, then the turn was an eight, so it paired me. And then the river was like a three. Uh, no flushes got there. And he says seven high. I turn over my ace eight uh, and we drag a pretty good sized pot. About probably 45 to 50 minutes later, I've been pretty snug, uh, which is, tends to be the case, especially when I'm a little tired. I just stopped at the room uh, right now to get a little food for maybe some extra energy. And I am in the small blind with ace three of diamonds. Uh, pretty active, I would say, uh, tight aggressive type player. In middle position, makes it 15, he gets two callers. I bump it up to $70, he makes the call, everybody else folds. Flop comes out ace nine nine rainbow, uh, no diamonds, and here I think about checking, but I put out a smallish C bet of seventy dollars, uh, and he folds. I'm not sure if that's the right play there, uh, but right now uh, in four five hundred we have about five eighty, so up about eighty bucks. Uh, gonna get back down there playing one three, put my name on the one three and two five list initially, and then when I went up to get my vape pen. I uh, came back down in the 2-5 game, they'd already passed me, and the 1-3 had just called me right when I got down. So, figured I'd stay in the table, uh, turned out to be pretty good. It's not as good as it was earlier, so I may uh, be looking to move on, but don't really think I want to venture into 2-5 tonight when I am not completely about myself. So we'll head back down there and uh, see what we can do. Game is over, played about five hours. Not too many more interesting spots after I came back. Uh, still kind of played that uh, I'm tired, tight, nitty game. Three bet a couple times from out of position, took down some hands from the flop. Uh, had a couple raises, whiffs, that kind of thing. Got down to uh, six handed for a while, five handed actually for just a tad. Then we got some new recruits. I was getting tired, uh, finally looked down at a premium uh, not too long ago. Uh, pocket aces, two black aces uh, in late position. There are a couple limps to me. Uh, no straddle this time, uh, which was happening a lot. I make it 18 to go. I get four callers. Flop comes out nine, five, deuce, rainbow. The big blind, I believe leads out for $25. Folds around to me. I don't really feel like he's gonna be calling with much. It's such a dry board um, that I beat. I know I can get a little action from maybe a ace nine type hand, but uh, he's new to the table, a young kid. So I make the call. Turn comes out a seven of spades, bringing on a backdoor spade draw. I have the ace of spades, uh, so less likely that he has a spade draw, in my opinion. He continues betting. This time he bets 50. 
Uh, and this time I debate raising, but I just figure I may just let him kind of own himself here. And I just call. And the river is kind of an unfortunate card. The river is a nine, so it pairs the, the nine. Uh, and our opponent goes ahead and bets tiny. He bets 50 again. And I just kind of instantly make the call, and he turns over pocket 10. So probably could have got a little bit more value on those earlier streets. Um, but our hand is good. I rack up pretty shortly after. I'm pretty tired. Uh, cash out 729. Uh, in for 500, out for 729. So up 229 in about five, five and a half hours. Get some sleep and get back after it tomorrow. I'm actually probably gonna drink some wine. We can go to bed. Oh, and I forgot it is Saturday morning now, but I forgot to give a shout out to the dude. He came up to me when I was playing last night. He said you watch my videos. Here's a sexy shout out to you, my friend. I don't remember your name, sorry. Um, I'm not even gonna try to guess it, but I would recognize you if you came up and talked to me again. And shout out to my buddy from way back, Ross, who I used to play home games with, like freaking as long ago as like 12, 13 years ago, when I was a wee lad. And Dallas also, who used to play in the home games slash backroom bar games in Manhattan, Kansas. Um, a long time ago, like 10 years ago as well, but up to about five years ago. Good luck, boys. Later on, Devin. Deuces. Let's have a killing day, winning day. Oh yeah. You see this Kansas star? They give a free buffet for just playing poker here. Step your game up. And I got some free slot play. I, I want the one with the sexiest girl on it. Oh, this is the one. This is Damon. And this is the guy he or he doubled up on and stacked and knocked out of the tournament back to back. Legend killer.